a bit of action. Good morning from Jeffreys Bay on the coast of South Africa. Over the next few days, we're gonna be going along the garden route and doing some hiking up some waterfalls and suspension bridges, seeing penguins and going to the most southern point in Africa. Join us. <music> our first stop of Tsitsikama National Park and we're at the appropriately named Big Tree just behind us. It's massive and to demonstrate how big it is we're going to get our assistant to stand beside it so you can see how big it is. Apparently it takes eight people to go around it and it's over a thousand years old. So we made it to the suspension bridges. It took about half an hour? Yeah. Yeah, about half an hour. So there's two and one's 40 meters long and one's 50 meters long and a seven meters high. It's beautiful around here though. Shame it's not sunny. And this is still Tzitzi... Tzitzikama National Park. So the second suspension bridge, which is 50 meters long, was actually built in 1969. Uh, so much, 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 much longer ago than those over there. So it's pretty old. day two of our trip along the garden route and we've just reached a point called Margaret's Viewpoint and we're just above the town of Kiznet something. So there's the view. And during high tide apparently this is a good place to look for whales, mm, humpbacks, really? yeah, and, uh, and all other kind of whales, killer whales, which aren't actually whales. <laughs> Currently on the Kingfisher Trail in Wilderness National Park, southern of South Africa. We didn't prepare for this, hence our clothes. They're not really hiking, <laughs> hiking clothes. <laughs> but we're gonna do a two and a half hour walk. It's quite nice weather and it's shaded. Filming as well, so excuse the film. <laughs> so the walk has just taken us to a pontoon, which we're gonna pull over uh, and then go across. I've never done this before. So have you lost your ID and your driving license? Yeah, but I, luckily I, I will be able to do it without my ID because... So there's that. I don't know, what, I don't know what that is. <laughs> is it, could it be down here? Oh, it's under here. Oh, you can see it? Yeah. I'll go yeah. down, you don't have to. That's okay. Huh? Thank you so much. That's fine. Oh. So you're going to be in our video now though. <laughs> <laughs> That's the price you have to pay. Hi, my name is Thanks girls, I'm doing nothing here. I'll take us back.
I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So if you didn't get that when we were waiting for the pontoon, I just spotted one of the girls' ID just sinking in the water, going down to the bottom. So managed to get their ID back. So that's a win. We were just reading about all the venomous spiders, snakes, and scorpions back at the reception of the National Park. There's quite a few, isn't there? Loads. <laughs> there is quite a few. There's huge trees here, old indigenous. Indigenous? Indigenous, just old trees. This one here is massive. And it looks old as well. It looks, hello. It looks really, really old compared to like some of the new trees that are coming out. It's just wrapped in moss and uh, what else? Other trees. Yeah, it's wrapped in other trees. These are the first waterfalls we've found in Southern Africa. They're pretty cool. We're not really going to swim because, well, look how scummy it is. We're going to head on back and then check out the rest of the garden route. Hello, you pulled it last time, so it's my go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you hold this. There you go. Thank you. Gentlemen. Pretty horrible. made it down to the southernmost tip in Africa. It's actually just over there, but they've got this huge monument here of Africa. It's pretty cool. So I'm currently in Zimbabwe. Go over here, I'm in Kenya. Around about here, Somalia. Gonna do some pirating. Catch some ships. Ethiopia here. Going down Nile. Probably Egypt. 
This is probably Egypt here. There's Tunisia, so Tunisia, the most northern point. I'm now on the most northern point, going around to Morocco, the Ivory Coast here. And yeah, you get the point. It's the whole of Africa. Chloe's just in the South Pacific. So we're about to back to Africa to the most southern point, which is there. We are officially the most southern people, officially, geographically, I don't know, the most southern people in the whole of the continent of Africa. There's no more land south of us. The next land you'll hit is Antarctica. Oh fuck, there's two fishermen more south of us. There's two fishermen more south of us. I think I've got a plan. We're gonna go over here and then head south. Should be more south of the fishermen. My plan failed, it didn't go around. So the second plan is plan B. It's basically just go beyond the fishermen. However, it's much easier than got trainers on. So what I've got on is nothing. Ooh, there's a lot of shells down here. So there's the fishermen. How you doing, mate? Yeah. I wanted to be the most southern person in Africa. I saw you guys out here and I was like, fuck, I've got to come out here now. <laughs> How's it going? You caught anything? Yeah, small ones. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, what are you trying to catch? Halloon. Halloon. Oh. Cheers, mate. I'm just going to go down here so I'm more south of you. Okay. There we go. You want to get in front of your line. So I'm in front of this guy, so I'm the most southern person in Africa now. And behind me is, uh, what's your name? Ranta. So yeah, most southern, most southern point. And I'm basically in the water. So there we go. <laughs> now I've got to get back safely. Land. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Made it. Did you get splashed? Yeah. Yeah, I got splashed, yeah. No penguins, but there is some massive amounts of this just giant seaweed. It's massive. Maybe the penguins are over there. We're heading back to the car to check out another little bit of beach because there's no penguins here. So hopefully at the next spot. No penguins. 
penguins. Bonnie <laughs> found him. So an interesting fact is wild penguins are only found in the southern hemisphere apart from one place and that is the Galapagos Islands which is just, just north of the equator. Action. We're now going to head to another location with penguins. Did you enjoy that? That was really good. Yeah, and they're so cute to watch. What was your favourite bit? jumping on the rocks trying to get brave and go in the water and it just fell over which sounds mean but they just seem funny to watch jump <laughs> so we're now going to head to another beach where there might be more penguins penguin day around the bay to over there in the clouds <laughs> more penguins <laughs> so we just paid 20 rand for a box of grapes Nice. Great. We've arrived at Boulders Beach. Just gonna look for some penguins. It's a bit busier here. Much busier. Wouldn't be surprised if they're selling penguin artifacts. Answer to that question is a resounding yes. Let's head over there. <coughs> Massive queue, we were waiting for 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. But we're, we're through and hopefully we're gonna see some more penguins. In front of us are the, I think it's like the chicks. They're, they're nearly grown up now, but they're just sat there with their beaks open, waiting to be fed. As Chloe was just saying that they're a bit big for the nests. I reckon there's some imposters in there. Some adult penguins have just gone in there, waiting to be fed. Really nice, really nice view. This is 
is why we have a uh, extended tripod. So that was Boulders Beach and the penguins there. Did you enjoy it? I did, although it was a little bit too hot and a little bit too crowded compared to Betty's Bay anyway. But it was still cool. Yeah, Betty's Bay was really good. If you're gonna go somewhere then definitely go there. You got any penguin jokes? What's black, white and red all over? What? Penguin with sunburn. What did penguins drink out of? Beakers. <laughs> what did the penguin cost about? Because it was the chicken's day off. <laughs> we are now done with our garden route trip and that means the end of the video. Next we're going to Cape Town, so that should be fun. We're going to climb Table Mountain and have a look around. Uh, from us, goodbye. Bye. Next time. No, nothing without staples and chains. You don't climb without staples and chains. Without staples and chains, yeah. okay. There's no chains or ladders yet, so we've just got to climb up there.